What is going on guys? This is Chad. Thank you for watching another Is That Chad Honda Views video. Today we're taking a look at the 2018 Honda Fit. This is the sport trim. So this is the first time Honda Fit has had a sport trim. So let's take a look into this thing. We're going to take a walk around of it, both outside and inside. We'll also go ahead and take this thing for a test drive so you can see what it handles like. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like the like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for other Honda cars as well. So let's go ahead and start at the front of this car. You'll notice that the fog light housing has been changed from the 2017 model. You will also notice it looks just more uh, more aero shaped, more just sharper. It looks a lot more aggressive. The grill has changed as well to make it a little bit more aggressive looking. And the sport trim level actually has this orange trim that goes along the bottom of it on the on the front and the back. I'll show you when we get around to the back of it. We also have these beautiful black 16-inch uh, rims on it. It's look awesome on this car. Guys, this is our Helios Yellow Pearl. Uh, I think this is the first time this color has been on a Fit or on any Honda, actually. Let me know what you guys think of it. It's kind of... It's, it's pretty nice. It's kind of weird, but it's, it's nice. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you prefer this or the orange one. Alright, so when we get to the back of it, of course, you'll see the sport badging back here. We'll also see, if you look down here, we have a rear valance. And actually, it does look really good back here. Um, let's see if I can get that an angle. There we go. There, you can see it kind of. You can also see that it has the orange trimming on it, like I said. Let's take a look down the side here. And then let's take a look inside of the back of it. <clears throat> Alright, so... Guys, let me point out the fact that I am six foot one. So, everything that I do when I sit inside of this car... Um, is to demonstrate how much space there is in here. So, I am standing comfortably on the underneath side of this tailgate. My head's not hitting, nothing like that. So, if you're tall, you're going to fit underneath here fine. Plenty of space back here in the back. You also do have a spare tire back here. It is a full size diameter, but it is a smaller width, so it's still just a temporary tire. The back seats do fold down flat. I will actually get to that here in just a second. Right now they're lifted up, so let me show you that feature. Now this car is going to cost you guys about $19,000. Let's see if I can get the better shot there. There you go, $19,000. And if you guys are located in the South Bay, California area, definitely hit me up. Uh, I do have a link to my Instagram. Or just leave a comment. I will get you guys a good deal. Um, so here we go. So the seats lift up on this car to give you a four foot of clearance, as you can see right here. That is four foot of clearance, guys. So, I mean, that's a massive amount of space. If you have a big TV you want to haul, uh, things like that, you're going to have no problem doing that in this car. So let me go ahead and climb in here. Now, this front seat is scooted all the way back. So I still have space. I mean, I have about a hand's length of space back here. And it's not by any means a tight stretch. Um, go ahead and fold this one down. And you can see, once again, this passenger seat, it's back all the way. And you can see how much space you have right there. There's a lot of space in this car. You also notice you keep the orange trimming. You guys can't see it, but this is all orange right here. It's also orange here and, you know, on the other headrest as well. Let's go ahead and hop into the driver's seat. But first, let me show you these seats that they fold down flat. There we go. They give you a flat surface. Show you the view from the back and then we'll hop inside here. There we go. Cool. So let's go ahead and hop into the driver's side of this car. Oh, let me show you around. See, so it looks very nice. You get the seven inch touchscreen radio on here that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth of course. Um, speaking of Bluetooth, they have moved the mic to right here so it picks your voice up much, much better than it has in the past. Thank you, Honda. Another cool thing while I'm right here, 
right here guys volume knob is back they are putting it back in all of our hondas if you're not familiar the last couple years we have not had a volume knob it's just been push buttons very very frustrating thank you honda for listening and putting that volume knob back they even put a light behind it so thank you very thoughtful cool let's move around here to the steering wheel you'll see that orange trimming goes all the way along the steering wheel this is a leather wrapped steering wheel so it feels very very nice behind you know on your hand you can see your paddle shifters here for your paws up and down you have a cup holder back here if you're interested in gas mileage you do have an econ mode there it's going to keep your rpms lower to help with the gas mileage a couple cup holders down here as well as your plug-ins now guys this is where you're going to plug the phone in if you want to use apple carplay or android auto and if you want more details on how those work i do have videos for that in my channel so if you want to see those definitely look through my videos you will find those in there um you, know, you see the orange stitching is I mean, everywhere in this car. Go ahead and here to the center console. Go ahead and look inside. Now this is, is a little bit deeper than it was last year. Um, it's still very small though. You have another power outlet in there, another um, USB outlet right there. One other complaint: this does not slide. You know, there's no sliding there. No, I'm all the way back, so it fits on my arm. I mean, pretty perfect. But if you know, if you're a shorter person, you're having to sit closer to the steering wheel. This, you know, the armrest may not do a whole lot for you. Um, not a huge complaint, but you know, I'll point it out for you. Um, so now let's go ahead and take this car on a test drive. And guys, remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, leave a comment, let me know what I can do, you know, how I can improve my channel and help this video out. I definitely like reading all your comments. Let's go on a test drive. 